Hey, well, welcome back, everybody. I got game number three here in our best of three series. I am Ange Kino, and let's go ahead and introduce our two players. The top right hand corner, the red Protoss player. Managed to even up, even the series up after that last game. It's going to be Liquid Hero. And his opponents, bottom left hand corner, our blue Zerg player. It is Lenox. Last game, we had a really cool build from from Hero. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I don't know how to put it into terms, but it was like, you know, it just got that feeling. It's like, ah, oh, that, that looked good. <laughs> it's kind of like this non... Uh, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe so some cerebral thing. It just just works. It's kind of like the, uh, the golden number. Or the, yeah, the golden number. Uh, that just works throughout nature, and that's just kind of like what Hero personified in the third game with that build. <laughs> I'm like hyping this build up so hard. Anyone who doesn't see the last game is like, what the hell is he talking about? How amazing was it? It was just a really cool build. Uh, going for like Warp Prism with Immortals, uh, using that to micro with, and then just massing pure Zealots after getting an expansion. Awesome build. Might actually do a build order video on that in the future. But this game, Hero, what is he going to go up with? We do have a different map, of course. Leenok going for a spawning pool into hatchery opening. Uh, Hero will just run around here, block this for a little bit with this probe. Uh, won't be able to uh, delay it for that long because the spawning pool is coming out. Uh, a lot, you know, in the previous in history, people would actually throw in a pile on him. Uh, he's going to cancel that, of course. Kind of surprised he threw down a pile on there. Maybe he's expecting a double hatchery out of this, so he's planning on blocking this one as well. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we did see Leenok before go for a, a fast three hatches. And he I think he was winning that fight there for a second. No, he was actually going to lose it. But he will delay this as long as possible. Even throwing down another pile in here. Will he cancel this one? No, he doesn't even cancel that one. So he's going to make four Zerglings here, and these guys will have to uh, spend some time hatching and uh, taking down this pylon. So this is just going to give Hero a little bit of time. He's just now building his first cannon. So luckily those Zerglings uh, didn't run straight across the map because that may have been a problem. They may have actually been able to get all the way up here. And Hero <laughs> cancels this pylon and then finally lets Leenok take an expansion. And it's going to be a double expansion from Leenok. And now he's got the Zerglings. He's got four Zerglings, which of course... Uh, they managed to kill a pylon, which is nice. And they can run around and do some scouting. Uh, but uh, this allowed Hero to get his Nexus up uh, in plenty of time, actually much faster than his opponent building his expansion, but, you know, Leonok is trying to make up for that wall by throwing down his uh, expansions back-to-back. -back. Hero's got one probe stolen on the map. I'm going to try and do some scouting. I like this. Uh, Leonok using one of his four Zerglings to run around and scout, keeping an eye out there at the top watch tower. You don't need too many to chase a probe. I mean, two is usually enough. Uh, just because it kind of like, you'll watch him, one will hit, and then the other one will run in front of it, and it'll hit, and you kind of just take turns running back and forth, so. Two is pretty much all you really need, I think, to get like max maximum efficientness out of chasing down a probe. And is he going to get it? Is this guy actually going to get all the way home? <laughs> These circlings, they got to be fed up with it. Like, we chased that damn probe all around this fucking map, and I didn't even kill it. <laughs> oh, well. You win some, you lose some, and as Zerglings mostly lose, those guys, they're the only thing worse than a Zergling is a Baneling is in terms of, like, uh, effectiveness. Every once in a while, I guess if you're a life, if you're a life Zergling, then you, then you're like, then you got a maid, man. But everybody else's Zerglings are just not as fancy, they're not as cool. So Gateway, I'm going to go straight into Stargate here for Liquid Hero. Uh, we do have an Overlord in the back corner of Hero's map, so he can scout this out if he feels like it, if he feels like sacrificing some guys over there. Actually, that Overlord. And you may actually see it just by running the Zerglings up there, and nah, that's probably too far away, even if he runs right up to that edge. Zergling, keep an eye on that third base. So we got three hatches up finally here for Leenok, and then finally making us two gases. At about the 6 minute and 50 second mark, those guys are finishing up. And a sentry versus a zealot, or a sentry and a zealot versus two Zerglings, and uh, of course we all know who wins that fight. 
So both players doing a pretty good job of just kind of kind of treat some we're trying to keep some semblance of uh, map presence you know it's not very strong but it gets it gives them vision they can go and scout things he saw that upgrade coming uh, he's got a guy up here at the watchtower which is pretty good for scouting out any you know flying units that happen to come across the top of the map and it will be Phoenix's for liquid hero we've seen liquid hero in the back or in uh, previous games so it'd be pretty effective with Phoenix's and uh, this sentry will come up here and kill this overlord and even denying the uh, vision from the phoenixes there he's not going to use the phoenixes to kill out the overlord which some players may just go ahead and do but he's going to keep this a little bit of a secret for the time being grotto robotics facility coming up as well sentry will keep that guy away and i don't think he managed to scout this out let's see okay yeah he still hasn't been seen that so he's completely unaware of what's going on here he fortunately scouted out the wrong position and <laughs> Oh, he got the probe! God damn! And I was saying here, Zerglings just suck and don't do anything good, but look at that there. That one Zergling denied that expansion for so long, even managed to kill the probe. Wow, damn, that Zergling was good. Good job there, Leonok. So Spore Crawler's going up, Evolution Chamber getting that plus one range attack. On the way, three Phoenix is going to this third base from Leenok. They're going to see the Roaches, and they may get a one or two Overlords here, but the Spore Crawlers are already up. And one Overlord will go down. Another Phoenix joins the front. Uh, second Overlord is going to fall. Actually, this is probably the fourth Overlord. And even a fifth one. These these poor guys, they're just... They hard, they're hatched at the wrong base. Uh, the rest of them have been grouped up here. Look at this. He's got plenty of Spore Crawlers all over the place. Two at each of the bases. And even making a second one here at the third. So that's going to be six total. Uh, some gateways going up here at the third base. He's got one lone Photon Cannon keeping this alive. The Zealot <laughs> is in trouble. And are the phoenixes going to come back? He really needs the phoenixes here. The roaches are in plenty of range to take out this photon cannon. And this cannon's going to drop down very fast. He's got the pylon, so he can do some warp ins if he feels like. He's got some more gateways coming online here in just a second. Voidway shows up. Is he going to manage to kill that pylon? No, the phoenixes will come and pick up the rest of these roaches. So the roaches will die for the fact of killing a single photon cannon. That's definitely not worth it. Hero manages to get his third base up. Catching up to Leenok. Leonok hasn't set up a fourth base yet. Immortal coming out. Still producing some forward rays. And he actually, look at this main. This is the most bare main I've ever seen from a Protoss. Look at this. He's got one pylon in there, two gas, and that's it. There's nothing in this entire freaking base. This is insane. That base is just begging to get a Nidus Orm in it because there's no vision whatsoever. And Zerglings making a run to the third base over here, but there's more than enough stuff to defend against these Zerglings. And this is putting Hero in a really nice position uh, to just come on, on here, use this Observer, take out a couple Creep Tumors. And these Zerglings won't be able to accomplish very much. They killed one probe, but uh, they're going to be forced to fall back. Leonok does have a fourth base in the top part of the map. Look at this Liquid Hero making his play through the middle, killing a couple more Creep Tumors. Now he's going to go for the Roach Warren. He got the Void Ray on it. He's got the Zealots on it. He's got a Queen over here, I think. Yeah, there's a Queen with enough for one Transfuse. But it's not going to be enough. The Roach Warren does fall. But at this point, Roach Warren isn't really what you need. You need some type of air defense. He's got the Hydras, and that's exactly what he needs. But of course, those guys just walk into a Graviton Beam or whatever that thing's called. Gets picked up and I think loses three Hydra there. Let's check it out. Two Hydra. And Zealot's still up here cleaning out Creep Tumors. Almost got all of them except for this one up here in the front, which is a problem that can regenerate. But uh, the rest of it all got cleared out. Uh, so Leenok did... Lose a lot of creep there, but nevertheless, he's uh, got his base defended again. And this top left base from Leenok will get scouted out by Liquid Hero. But unfortunately, these Hydras just walk right up underneath the Phoenixes. He's going to lose two of them. And that's that's what you do. You do not leave your Phoenixes sitting on creep. Or else, Hydras will just walk up and then just kill you. But look at this. We're going to have a fight here. Nice force fields. Getting an, uh, more than half of his army. Look at that. Just picks off everything with these Colossus. Great use of the sentries there, uh, dealing a lot of damage to Lenox at ground force. Losses 2800 for the Zerg player, 2475 for our Protoss player. And he's making a beeline to the top left corner of the map. Liquid Hero really wants to take out this fourth of base. We see Lenox really focusing on the gas up here. He's got his Vipers coming out. He's got another Spire being built. Um, actually, no, scratch that. That's his first Spire. I forgot they changed the, the Viper's tech tree a long time ago. Anyways, this one pylon still down here has managed to stay alive. Uh, another base being built by... Oh my god, he's going to see it and block it. 
what timing there. That was just complete accident because that was on patrol. And now he's going to warp in a Zealot to deal with this. But at the same time, the, the fourth base is under attack here from Liquid Hero. Leenok is going to try and pull in some units. Yet, yeah, there's the Yoink. He's going to grab one of these Mothership cores. But does he have anything to kill it? No, he just Yoinks it again. <laughs> and that Mothership core is going to go down. Force shields delay the retreat. At the same time, the base down here was delayed. So, Hero getting two bases... Uh, removed for the price of none. A couple force fields. Charger being researched. Templar research coming on the way. 12. Mutilus coming out for Leenok. He definitely needs to gain some type of air control. And look at this liquid hero with three stargates. That's going to give him more than enough production to uh, meet the uh, muted demand that his opponent's going to be coming here with. But he's going to need to deal with these vipers to keep those colossus alive and uh, kill those hydralisks off. But this is a this is an interesting attack for Rylinok. I'm not sure what he's going with here. Okay, if he picks off the Colossus, that'll be a pretty good fight. But after that, uh, there's so many Immortals up there. He picks off another Colossus, then he's going to fall back. The Void Razor there, and that will uh, just continue to hold this position. But he did manage to pick off the Colossus, which I think is the key uh, thing that he was going for. Still sitting on three bases. Hero moved outside his base. He's kind of in a vulnerable vulnerable position, but he wants to defend the third base as well. And Hero's going to pick up some Immortals in a War Prism. Will we see that Immortal Micro, Immortal War Prism Micro we saw from the previous game come into effect? There are the two, 12 Mutalisks we saw earlier. And they're going to make their way to the main, but no, the Phoenixes run in to intercept. The third, or sorry, fourth and fifth base from Leonok are being built once again. Flyer upgrades are coming along the way. We're getting that speed upgrade from Overlords as well. Some uh, plus three, what is that? Plus three attack upgrades. Actually, nope, scratch that, plus two. And uh, Storm being researched. More Phoenix is still being built as well. Fourth base going up for Leenok in this top center part of the map. Sorry, for Liquid Hero. And the pylon on the bottom left finally does get cleaned up. For a while, we saw Hero with uh, pylons easily on his opponent's side of the map, giving him a lot of opportunity to go in and do some harassment. Paid off. He managed to delay the space down here at the bottom. And now we have a lot of Zerglings making their way to the top central part of the map. They will run through a bunch of zealots and get completely eviscerated by these zealots. Let's check out the upgrades. One attack upgrade for the melee for the zerg. Two range attack. One fire upgrade attack. And uh, no armor just yet. Just going all the damage. While the Protoss is sitting on two attack, one armor. But Leonok has a sizable force moving up to the top center part of the map. But with these amount of photon cannons, Sentries, Immortals, Void Rays, everything you can throw your, uh, shake your fist at. And look at all these Phoenixes. That's a lot of Phoenixes. Uh, and these Corruptors he's making right now are going to be extremely useful. He needs to deal with these Phoenixes somehow, and the Corruptors are kind of the best option at this point. Good Force Fill use. Li Liquid Hero once again picking off part of Leenok's army, just segmenting it and dissecting it. And now he's going to make his way to the top left corner of the map, making his play, wanting to kill this base once again. He's got so many Phoenixes, he can kind of just... Whoa, actually, that's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. He just pulled in a bunch of Phoenixes, and they kind of followed it. But that's a lot of Mutalists. Will really he have enough AA? He's got all the Corruptors there, too. It's only... Uh, I mean, he's got a couple Sentries, but not that many Phoenixes. I feel like he has enough to deal with this. He's got the Corruptors. He's got the... I think he's got enough to just take this straight up. The Colossus is going to be completely useless. Just snipes that Void Ray. Bosses will die. And Leenok with this Air Force. This may actually be too much. He's going to fall back to these Photon Cannons. And he does have that range upgrade. But look at this. Leenok with another attack over here at the third base. Going to just slowly work away at these um, Zelts being warped into defend. But Leenok still has a couple units left here. And down here at the bottom, this base gets killed by a, a Zealot Warpin. And, oh man, Liquid Hero just kills bases left and right. Fortunately, Leonok didn't have enough down there to defend it. Hasn't really built that many Spore Crawlers, and... Oh no, he's building a base right in front of all these Zealots being warped in here, and this base is going to get killed once again. Liquid Hero has killed so many bases this game, being built and ones that have already, uh... uh completed. So Leonok's probably getting a little frustrated. He's thinking, I got a big-ass army. I've got a ton of Mutalisks. 
I'm getting plus three attack upgrade. I got corruptors. I can pretty much win this fight straight up, I think, as long as he doesn't get destroyed by storms here. But he just keeps losing the ground game due to these zealot warps in ends. And now he's making some spine crawlers. There we go. I want to see some spine crawlers to deal with these zealots because that's kind of been a weakness in Leonox play this game. He set up the expansions, but he really hasn't had the forces to defend him against kind of these just random zealots. So the plus two flyer attack is about halfway done for Leonok. The uh, plus one air attack upgrade is on the way for Liquid Hero. Gaining control of that Zelnaga tower. Three more zealots being positioned over here where these guys headed to. They're going to head down here and make an attack, but there's too many zealots. Or sorry, too many zerglings. A little bunch of that nice storm does a lot of damage to all these mulas. They get weakened up a little bit. Another Templar moves in position. May get another good storm. Get a little bit of the guys there. Now we have the micro, the range uh, phoenixes have to deal with these uh, corruptors, they have to deal with the pull from the vipers, and at this point Liquid Hero is kind of bullying him away with the void rays, and he's got just these phoenix count. Isn't too terribly high, but it's just enough, I think, to just keep him at bay, and now he's going to try to turn around and go for a fight. This is just insane micro between both these players here. At the same time, Leonok expanding the bottom middle part of the fight, uh, bottom middle part of the map, and Leonok just forced to fall back, forced to fall back, while, uh-oh, he's going to lose the militia before he didn't plan on that. He has to watch out for uh, for the High Templar, of course. There's quite a few of them, and any one or two storms can just shred these Mutalisks. He's biding his time. Going to grab a couple extra kills. Grab that Immortal. Yep, grabs the Immortal, but eats a storm for the cost of it. And just trading Mutalisks for Phoenixes. We're on four base versus kind of four and a half bases for Leenok. And this, this battle is just going back and forth. Uh, let's check the unit count. We've got uh, 21 Mutalisks versus 14... Phoenixes. Oh, that's a big storm right on top of all the meters and another big storm. Great storms there. Leonok really can't do any engagements uh, for the time being. He has to wait for all these guys to heal up. Liquid Hero continuing to produce Phoenixes. And now <laughs> Leonok was uh, kind of taking some pages out of uh, Hero's book. Going on the offensive. Takes out the base down in the bottom right. Storm's going down. But uh, unfortunately, that's not killing the rest of the units and going to lose two uh, high temp off of that and a couple zealots. Leonok really needs to uh, get some more air forces here. I love the addition of the uh, uh, infestors. I think that's going to be pretty good. His creep spread is kind of just kind of fizzled out. We've seen he never really rebuilt all the creep he lost early on in the game, which is kind of uh, you know coming to his detriment this part in the game. You know, he really doesn't have that many ground units, but having creep is nice just for the extra vision. So, once again, Hero pushing forward here with a lot of zealots. He's going to come right in here and kill this hatchery, it looks like, before they all die. It's getting close. Yeah, there it goes. It goes down. Phoenixes gave it a shot, but there's, uh, the Corruptor count is extremely high. I think we're up to 17 Corruptors. That one Infestor could be pretty big game-breaking play here if he can land one fungal growth liquid hero once again in the bottom right trying to rebuild his base zergling's gonna try and go for a run by all the way into the main but they run straight into a high tempo and drop the storm and managed to kill himself <laughs> not a very good trade there but what are you gonna do 10 more mules being built plus three attack is on the way for the flyers and plus two attack upgrade for those zerglings and at the top left this hatchery looks like it's going to die again. One lone Zergling makes its way up to the very top. How's it going to go down here? Will the Zergling manage to kill all this? No, I won't. Those Zelts are going to shred that hatchery up. Oh, his buddies show up. It's getting close. Ah, it's getting close. 32, 5, oh, he, they go down. So upgrades galore for both players. High Templar being, or sorry, uh, um... Dark Shrine being built. A couple Void Rays being warped in here. Gonna get those hallucinations. And we have the Infester. He needs to watch out. I think he only has one of those. Actually, a couple more have been built since then. But uh, another base is gonna go down. And Leonok, tired of losing his base, is just gonna, you know, he's gonna, all right, whatever. I'll just kill all these workers. And I'll kill this base. You can kill three or four of my hatcheries. I'll get one of yours. <laughs> but eventually, he's gonna have to fight. Uh, because he just hasn't had that much income. You can see his income is drying up right now. He's got a bigger supply lead, 198 versus 172 for Liquid Hero. Now, at this point, Hero is kind of just sacrificing these zealots and four immortals, just kind of A-moving to his opponent's base. 
see what he can kill here. If he can kill a couple infestors for these immortals, that would be a pretty good trade. There he goes. Look at that one-shotting. That even going to take up the Ultraless Cavern while the research is going down, which may actually prove to be a benefit for Le Leenok. Um, sure, the Phoenixes can't do very much for his Ultraless, but uh, this is just going to be an air battle game. That's for sure. Look at all these corruptors. Look at all these. There's just so much air battle going on here. The Stalker's being warped, and he's got a high Templar. Archons can't get in the base because they're too fat. Must be this wide tent of the Protoss base. <laughs> Corruption going down a couple of those Phoenixes, but the Phoenix count is way high. And they just continue to push these Mutilus back. Oh man, those Phoenixes are just shredding these Corruptors and Mutilus with that range upgrade. Burrow being researched. I'm not sure why he's getting Burrow at this point. Maybe for the Infestors and the Roach is just to be annoying. Uh, drones up here at the top base just waiting to mine. Now the Immortals have finally made their way all the way into the main, but a, a couple uh, units will pop in here and deal with those guys. They managed to kill the natural, actually, on top of that. Uh, he's going to need some drop, some creep down over here. Roaches will go down. Slowly, Hero is gaining an advantage just time after time, killing bases of Leenok that he fails to secure. Uh, really just, you know, kind of been his Achilles heel this game. And Hero with his Phoenix count just continues to produce the Phoenixes, allowing him to deal with the uh, Mutalisks, which I have no idea where they're at. There they are. Trying to make some Infestors. He's got uh, 22 Mutalisks, 10 Corruptors, versus 16 Phoenixes and 3 Avoid Ray with a couple Archons sprinkled in there. And 8 High Templar, which are being all morphed into Phoenixes at this point. Or, sorry, morphed into Archons. Hatchery once again... <laughs> This base, I like this base. This is a cursed base for Lenok. And the mineral patches, they're, they're all still almost all full just because he, uh... Oh, that was a big... That was a big, uh, storm there. But I'm saying that that, that base has to be cursed as many times it's been attacked and destroyed. Uh, Liquid Hero heard that base was being built again, so he's moving up here to kill it once again. The drones know this. The, the drones know the drill. Get out of there. It's a trap. <laughs> Drones moving down to the bottom part of the map. Leenok looking to make a play in the middle of the map. Going to kill off some long distance mining probes. Going to try and even things up. This game has just come down to a game of attrition between both these guys. Still mining some gas from his third base. Going to move in here, pick off a couple photon cannons. Slow up the production of Hero. Get a couple more probes and kind of sneak out of the bottom there. He's got oh, he's got broad infestors. These five infestors could be huge. Does he have a, does he have an observer? He doesn't. He doesn't have an observer. If he could get these phoenixes, he's kind of baiting them. Is he gonna pop? Oh, great fungals! There he goes. He's gonna pick them up very quickly. The mutas move in. They're gonna try and kill the phoenixes, but the fungals don't last long enough. And there's the GG. Oh my gosh, that was exactly the play Lenok needed, but. The Archons were there just in the nick of time, and on top of that, Hero's quick reaction speed to quickly lift up all those Archon, or sorry, lift up all those Infestors before they could throw their Fungals down again was uh, extremely critical in that fight. So, a great game here between both of our players, but in the end, it just came down to the fact that Leenok could not secure his 4th and 5th base because, because Hero. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. You can find more of my commentaries, video game stuff at youtube.com slash Follow me on Twitter at E-O-N-S-H-I-K-E-N-O. Goodbye.